Kajing nang karna titinga lengkutu. Na kore ntu gina i bele kenya data taromo lia kamera. Kajo kadol ta jo kore ana tu gi na ntu gi supat. Amu kata ta ta ntu gi nikita chamaiti na ntu gi na idem ai bele kenya yo ma ta igi yo lo ngumo ni migi yo lo chake. Na kore ya na tu gi ke idem ma tu chuko gi yo ngutu apa na chomo ni mege ata. Na kado la jo kara ntu gi na idem ma tu chuko gi yo ina kutu kang. Amu kore ta isere ba gi de yo uta po ki. Iku tu mau pergi ni no, ni mungkin ada apa? Kwa majina mi naitwa Ellen. Mi natoka katika kikundi cha Gravel. Na sasa ninaongelea juu ya participatory video. Kwangu participatory video ni imenifanya niwe na furaha. Pili katika dengi yangu imenifanya mimi hiyo sharing ya community tunaweza kushare pamoja hiyo mafikira ambayo niko naye kwa participatory video. E, na zingine tena imenifanya pia mimi kuungana na community yangu kwa chochote ambayo tunafanya. Participatory video e, siku za uzoni nina hakika kuwa tutajua lugha, lugha yetu imeendelea na tutafurahi siku hiyo kwa sababu kwa sasa tuko kuendelea na lugha na ikifika muda huo nina haki kuwa tumetengeneza na tumejua na tume tunaongea. Asante.
uh, actually we are impressed by this uh, video team what they do so whenever we, uh, we have something like that we turn them to video so that they can replay back to the community and that is why we we get a lot of information putting these records community now are very open very happy to give us information through these video shows so it has supported us a lot so that we can teach them we can have now they can open themselves more to give us some more words even some can speak because you know they have they fear they don't have to open themselves in giving us information but during this time this project and these video shows have given us a leeway to to help us go through them and they give us a lot of information that's interesting yeah so you feel people are more feel more confident to share their, their knowledge, their knowledge. Their language. yeah yeah Th through participation yes through participation maybe video. because it's less uh, academic like if you have yeah they don't they, yeah yeah that they fear linguists that is what we discover when we have uh, the other languages uh, linguist coming to them to ask them questions to me they were not happy uh, because we pay them we pay the linguist we don't pay them then why why you don't pay us you pay language so we don't we don't have to give you any word. but this time we did it ourselves without any, any linguist linguist came to follow us to Ethiopia mm. to to give us his expertise on language yeah. because we could not we cannot di differentiate and more language and Ethiopia but linguists can can help us but in the community in the community is a problem you're finding a, yeah what's the best way to work then mm, most best way to work is to use this participatory video and ourselves to go and pick some word and later on we involve the linguist mm. yes creating the materials yeah yeah later. Yeah. 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 yeah yeah that's interesting yeah. Yeah. the also uh, barriers of women and men sometimes our community they when they meet they want to meet as elderly um, elder men uh, women are not not quite accepted but now our community little by little they are accepted women to come and give us also information because we have uh, many of them who are very good in, give, in giving us language information. When, when you have this special video and you have uh, ladies and men together, this can now make us come together and accept our ladies, our women, uh, because they can see they can do even better than men can do. Yeah, this was better video is actually has given a community hope because they can see what they are what they can see the images because El Molo is like a, a living culture actually people coming from far to take photos and pay them money and they they don't know this now because they can, they can have their own people who photo them and come and replay back their images. They, they like that instead of people coming to take pictures and they, they pay them money. So they give them pride. So I like them because they are together. Uh, they usually, because this group, Gurapau, appoint them to go and have this training they give us feedback and we like it and then community also accept them and they are very organized they are not like uh, the other group i saw they are free to share with others they they pick women they pick men they pick young and they pick old when they select the group they go and teach is uh, he could not imagine that he could operate uh, a computer, you can take photos because he, he never went to a school, never learned it. So he is very proud now because he said he can do whatever 
a learned man can do. He can also do it. I did not go to school, but I can, I can do whatever somebody who has gone to school can do. And you yeah. said something about his, um, he has a lot of knowledge, like he's a very knowledgeable man, right? Yeah, he, he can't read and write. So he cannot read and write, but very knowledgeable. We, I mean, we are using him in, in this uh, program of ours as uh, one of our uh, board member because uh, he can, his views is very nice. And also the community trusts him because he's one of uh, our religion leader, our religious, uh, traditional religion leader. He's also one of them. Yeah. Right. Have mm. you seen how Helen changed since she took part? Yeah, Helen also was very quiet. Uh, he, he was not open, never open. But now he can, he can speak. <laughs> he has opened up. Yeah. He can also argue things with the, the husband, not quiet like uh, before. Mm. Yeah, he can say, no, yes, I, I know this. Yeah, I don't like this. I like this. We can t be together. So, but before, he's just quiet. Yeah, this perspective video has given them has opened up their minds. Mm. Yeah. Very wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. No, it is it is important. If you don't have your mother tongue, you don't have your language, you are like a slave because you depend on the other people's language. Sometimes you can say no, don't speak our language. And when we say something important uh, in your own language, you don't have to because others can hear. So we need to have our language back as, as, as a pride for us. Because if we don't have language, we are just like a slave. We, 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 you are nobody. Mm. Your language and your culture makes you somebody. Yes. How many speakers are left in Kenya amongst the Amolo? <laughs> and why has it become so endangered? The, in the language is, is in danger now because nobody is speaking now. We, only, we have only one elder who can capture some words, but he cannot speak. So the last person who, is, who was fluent in language died in 1999. So we don't have anybody now. No elder can speak a language, but he can say some words like what we have put in the books, some words some nouns, some verbs, some songs in the original language, but speaking now language, interacting with others like uh, any normal language, we don't have, nobody's left. How 